These are bubble tubes, and I got these from America because they're quite hard to find in Britain. Um, the bubble Christmas lights are very popular in America, but they never really seem to catch on over here. And, he, well, here's an, an idea. Here's a picture of some typical vintage um, American bubble lights. They have a plastic base, the tube, and then a lamp underneath, and the lamp heats the base and it makes it bubble. And what's really interesting about these is that it's not a very high temperature that's needed to make these bubble. So here's the technology. You get a piece of glass tube. And at the base of it are crystals. Now these are just basically crystals that won't dissolve in the main liquid in here, which is methylene chloride, which is a solvent, a very common solvent. So the crystals are often just rock salt. And the purpose of that is to basically, it's a place where the bubbles can form um, as it's heated. Um, and it sort of spreads the liquid out, it just lets, lets it bubble easier. I'm not sure the exact science, I don't know if it's cavitation or... Or, you know, just uh, providing that sort of Mentos effect where it provides uh, places for the bubbles to start. But the glass tube is filled with the liquid methylene chloride. And then a vacuum is drawn to make the methylene chloride basically boil at room temperature. And then it's sealed off with a pip. And in the case of um, the little Christmas bubble lights... And these, they boil very easily. They don't require much temperature at all. Um, if I hold this up, you can see it's actually just boiling with the finger temperature. But in the Christmas lights, they have a sort of, like, they've got the housing like that. And then just basically a lamp just right up against the bottom of it with the filament. And that doesn't just light the tube, but it actually heats it up as well and makes it bubble. Now there's a couple of other variants of this. Uh, one of them, they add thickeners. They sometimes call them oil lights. I don't know if they are actually oil. It may be solvent dissolved in oil, the methane chloride, or it may actually be plastic chips dissolved in it to make it thicker, but they tend to go up with lots of tiny little bubbles very slowly. And another one uses a tube with uh, one liquid and then another liquid. And now I'm guessing it might even just be water with methylene chloride at the bottom because if you the the methylene chloride is not very soluble in water so and it's also heavier than water so if it was vaporized the bubbles would go up through the water cool down and then they'd start to fall again and any that did reach the top would form a sort of layer on top that would then gradually drip down like a lava lamp in a way the other place these are used is in Wurlitzer jukeboxes the old Wurlitzer jukeboxes had the decorative bubble tubes up the side and they basically had a resistor at the bottom, a cylindrical resistor, rated about 2.5 kilo ohms, 2,500 ohms, I think it was, at 110 volts. And that gave off um, enough heat. Uh, the tube was put into that and a little uh, brass shim would be put in to hold it in place. And basically, that meant that as soon as the power was turned on after it warmed up, bubbles would start rising up the tube. But it's interesting to note that if you go up to one of these jukeboxes and look very close, the bubbles actually start getting... They're that shape, and they start getting smaller as they get close to the top. And early on, just as it's starting up, they may actually disappear completely, because what's actually happening is that as the bubbles rise to the top, they're condensing back into liquid again. And if they manage to get to the top, all that will happen is that the, these bubbles will just gradually condense back into liquid and just con you know, return to the actual liquid itself. Very neat. Um, it's definitely a vacuum because I uh, deliberately I had one that wasn't bubbling too well so I got it bubbling and then snapped the tip and it immediately stopped bubbling and I could not get it to bubble after that it really needs the vacuum drawn on it um, I quite fancy making these sometime I do fancy trying that but I'd need a vacuum pump uh, although having said that um, reading the internet uh, there was a someone 
wrote an article where they described visiting the factory where they made these bubble tubes for the Christmas lighting applications. And they said there was just rows and rows of women, because they were really mass-produced, these things, sitting with their gas torches, and actually with a rubber tube in the end of the glass, and drawing the vacuum by mouth, they were actually sucking to create the vacuum pressure. And this is methylene chloride in here. That's not something you really want to breathe in, so that's one of those uh, nasty industrial things. They probably ended up with um, lung problems if they did that all the time. But yeah, they're very neat. I really like these little things. They're They're very... It's just bizarre that, you know, just body temperature alone can make these boil. So we can make one of the big ones boil. These ones seem to be a wee bit slower to boil. Oh, he lied, because it just starts boiling immediately. Yeah, they're neat. I just like the fact that, you know, they're so easy to drive. Oh, I should mention that this one's bubbling on a 12-volt supply because I've put four 33-ohm resistors in series. What's the total resistance there? Six, uh, four times 33 ohms, I could have worked that out really, 132 ohms. And basically speaking, that's drawing about 90 milliamps on 12 volts and dissipating approximately one watt. Um, the resistors aren't going to get too hot down here because the whole principle of a bubble tube, uh, the evaporation of the solvent, is actually taking the heat away. The heat is being transferred up to the top of the tube, and that's how um, some heat pipes work as well. They, they're filled with a suitable liquid that will either boil um, and transfer the heat to the top of the tube as a vapour, or just flow um, and transfer the heat away just by thermal convection. But yeah, they're, they're great, aren't they? They're really neat. I really like these. I really... I tried... Uh, to get some of the more specialised ones, the uh, but they're really the old vintage ones with the special effects have become kind of collectible, and um, they command high prices. People basically go to garage sales and buy um, whole sets of them, and then sell the tubes individually. And they can sell the tubes for something like fifty quid each, the little the individual lamps, because they are such collectible. But, um, these are just standard ones. These are fairly modern ones. Um, you can buy them on eBay, um, and if you're in the UK, you can buy them um, from America, uh, often as night lights or as sets of Christmas lights. Yeah, they're very neat. I like these a lot. <laughs>